Hey, what's up everyone? It's Artistic323 bringing you a coloring tutorial for beginners. But yeah, let's get started now. Open Photoshop. Now, recently I've been receiving a lot of messages about, hey Artistic, how can I color a drawing that I did on paper, but I scanned it. So I want to take that scanned drawing and then take it to Photoshop and just color, but how do I keep the line work? And I'm gonna show you real quick how to do it. So first, um, open your open your drawing. All right, this is an image that I got like like a year ago, like I think like yeah, like last year. And yeah, this is Courage the Cowardly Dog. And oh man, I I love this cartoon. I still watch it when I have the chance to to watch TV. Like it still comes out of, on Boomerang on Cartoon Network. But yeah, anyways, let's say this. Let's say this is a drawing that I made, right? Like on, on paper, and I inked it with pen or whatever, whatever you want to ink it with. But you want to color it. So this is what you gotta do. Go right here to the channels. And you go to channels. Get the blue. Get the blue. Get the blue layer. Click and hold and drag it to the new layer. So that way you can make a copy. Now that you have that copy. Click these I and mean open these. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to edit, you're gonna go to fill, and then make sure it's on white, okay? On white, normal, and 100 percent And click OK. Now go back to your, your blue copy layer. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold control, the, the button control. If, if you're using Mac, is the command button. But if since I'm using a PC, you you're gonna hold Control, and what happens is look, look, look at the little the little hand. But if I if I let go Control the Control button, you don't see that little square no more. But when you see when I hold the Control button again, I see the little square button. So when you see that, you just click it once, and you'll see the the selected area. But it, right now it's just selecting the white area. It's not selecting the the outline. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit you're gonna hit control and shift at the same time hold them if it's remember if it's Mac is the command button so you, you um you hold control and shift and you and you click I see there you go now it's selecting the outline so what you do you go back to layers see now your background is just white it doesn't have the little outline no more you make a new layer when you make a new layer that's gonna happen now you now you're gonna go to your paint bucket tool Remember, there's either the gradient or the paint bucket tool. Because you never know, you might get confused. But yeah, make sure it's on black. Make sure it's on black. Now, you just click it once. See, there you go. That's your lineup work. Now, to deselect it, you can either hold Control and press D. Or let's undo this. Or you can just go to select and just click deselect. But right here's the shortcut, what I just said Control D. All right, now that that's done, now I can make. Let's say I'm gonna put another layer on the bottom, and let's say I'm gonna get my my brush tool, and then I'm just gonna click, just pick a any color, and then there's a difference. Make sure your outlines. You wanna name this to outline. You just name it outline, so that way you don't get confused. Make sure the outline layer is always on top. You never want in the bottom. You know why? You, you'll see. Watch. This it is the the color, right? So now you'll see that I could color, and I'm not, and the coloring is not going on top of the outline, which is good. But there's this is the thing that I'm telling you. Make sure the outline is on the top. If it's not, you'll see this. I'm gonna put it on the bottom, and that's what you'll see. And then you'll be like, oh, you know what happened? You know, like what did I do wrong? So just make sure your outline layer is on top. See, there you go. Now, let's get started on coloring the two characters, shall we? Now what I would do is I would just make a new layer. And then, let's say I'm gonna start coloring first, Courage. So I'm gonna select the skin. Which I, I have them right here register, so that will be it'll be easier to do. Now I'm gonna zoom in. Wait, zoom in, and I'm gonna start coloring it. 
make sure this is on top layer remember the layer the, the color layers are always on the bottom so now you're gonna be coloring it and sorry for being quiet because I'm just <laughs> I'm just being focused right here now I'm just gonna color this real quick In this tutorial, I'm going to color the whole picture. So that way you'll see how it turns out in the end. Now usually what other people would do, they, they'll, they'll just do the mask. If you don't know what masking is, like you could, um, like since you're on YouTube, just click on how to, how to mask on Photoshop and they'll teach you personally I, I don't I really don't like doing that I just I just color my little object but you'll, you'll see what I'm gonna do because I have like I have a different style you know like as an artist we we all have different style of either coloring drawing or whatever sketching we all think different. That's the beauty about it. You know, no, no, no artist is the same. We're, we're all different in our own way. So you'll see other artists like do their color, do their coloring differently, and I do mine differently. But yeah, sorry for being so quiet. I just, <laughs> I'm just being focused right here. Cause usually when I, when I'm painting my my paintings, I'm usually um, just listening to music. I'm just quiet. And I'm just listening to music while I'm just painting. I know majority of y'all do the same thing. But yeah. I see, I see like some little mistakes that I did, like a couple of paint got out of the island, but don't worry, I'll, I'll erase that right now. Because I, I don't want the paint, what you don't want to do is get the paint out of the outline. Make sure it's only in the outline. Like. So, so that way, when you, when you have it finished, you won't see like little, like you won't see like mistakes like this, you know? Just want them like inside. All right, now that I oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I just still got the little hand. Always like double check before you're gonna go to the next move, to the next step, whichever you wanna, however you wanna say it. All right, now that I have the fur or the, the hair from Courage, I'll just call this C hair for Courage hair. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna color right now the tongue for Courage. So what I'll do, I'll just I'll just add um another layer to color something different. Like I said, like I I do my stuff differently than others. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom so that way I can do this. But yeah, just get the get the, just color the tongue. When you're coloring, make sure you always do the outline first, like what I just did right now. Just color the edges of the outline, so that way when you, when you have that done, just you could just make your brush bigger and then 
just do the rest of the filling real quick. Okay, now that the tongue's done, I'm gonna call this tongue. Alrighty. Now we're gonna go to Eustace. His. Oh, you know what? Um, I'm just gonna rather make a, a folder. I'm gonna call this Corch. So that way I don't get mixed up with the layers. Put this inside. Alright. I'm just gonna make some random layers right here. Alright, right here is gonna be the nose for the mask that Eustace has. We're gonna color it real, right, real quick right now. So remember, just color the edge first, like in the outline. So that way it won't be that hard when you just finish it up with the fill and just making the brush bigger. But yeah, when I'm done with this part, I'm gonna make the part two. Well, the ne next video, and then my, by the next video, all I'm gonna do is just I'm just gonna show you the layers what I just did. Like I, I haven't done no shading or anything yet. All I have done was just like what I've been doing like recently, just coloring layer after layer, like piece by piece. See, so let me just finish this the nose. So that way whenever you want to color your, your, your drawings that you did on paper, oh, and make sure when you scan your drawings, always scan them to 300 dpi and, we, and save it as a JPEG and make sure you save it as an RGB because if you don't have an, an, an RGB mode, it, um, it'll probably be in CMYK, the difference is that RGB means to color and CMYK is just to be black and white like you know like black gray and white but yeah I'm just gonna wrap this up real quick and then I'll see you guys on part two